Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at ViVal. Now, when you're making subs and functions, sometimes you want those subs or functions to be, to be able to use other variables that are outside of it. Now, <clears throat> one way of doing this is by using ViVal, which is pretty much just giving your function or sub a... Uh, a variable to use in its inside of itself and it doesn't know what what it's equal to but it gets it from another part of the program so let's go ahead and create a little demo application for this we'll go ahead and create a new project now let's go ahead and select Windows Forms application and we will just call this by Val and we'll go ahead and wait for that to load now just come over here to our toolbox and we will add a text box if we can find it we'll add a text box and then we'll add another text box and then we will add a button that says subtract so we'll set the text value of this to subtract and then we'll come up here and set the name to button subtract and just for the sake of saving time I'm not going to rename these text box text boxes so let's go ahead and double click on the subtract button so that it will generate our event handler for that and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here and we are going to create a function so we'll go ahead and use the private keyword so that nothing outside of this class can use this function so we'll use private function subtract numbers and now inside of these parameters we're going to add a by val so we'll just start off by typing by val and then we'll type num1 which is the name of what we're going to use what our variable is going to be called inside of our function as integer or let's go ahead and do double just in case they enter values that won't return a whole number when they subtract and then we'll do by val num2 as double and then we will do as double so that our function will return a double so let me go ahead and explain this a little bit to you when somebody calls the function subtract numbers they're gonna have to enter two values the first value is the first number and the second value is the second number so that lets our function subtract numbers use the two numbers that we've given to it and then it can do whatever it needs to and then give you back the answer so we'll just go ahead and type return num1 minus num2 so now what we'll do is we will come up here and we'll go ahead and create a in, an instance of subtract numbers so we'll go ahead and start by typing message box dot show and the first thing that we want to show in the message box the message of it is we are going to type subtract numbers and then we're going to need two arguments for this the first argument is going to be the num1 and what we're going to use as num1 is text box one dot text so basically what this is going to do is it's going to get the text from our first text box right here and it's going to use that as the number in subtract numbers and then for our second argument we are going to use text box 2 dot text and we'll go ahead and close off these parentheses and now if we run this you can see that it shows up our form and if we type the number 30 and then we type the number 10 and click subtract it's going to show us a message box with 20 now this part right up here may be a little confusing to you so I'll just go ahead and try and simplify it a bit so we'll go ahead and create a double variable so we'll type answer dim answer as double and we will set it equal to subtract numbers textbox one dot text and then we will use textbox two dot text so what this is going to do is it's going to return a double and it's going to be stored 
in the variable answer. So now instead of printing all this, putting all this in our message box show, we can just add answer. And we can also use answer anywhere else. So we can type answer plus equals one, and we can use that later on instead of it just being used inside of this message box show. So you can add as many by vowels as you want. You can do them with different types. You can use strings, integers, booleans, characters, and they don't have to be the same as your function type. So I could type num1 as string and it'll work perfectly fine even though our function type is a double and it's going to need to return a double. We can still pass whatever data types we need to it. So go ahead and practice with using byval. Um, you can create some functions and the easiest way to practice this is by making some calculator functions and um, Referent, use by val to pass variables or numbers into your functions and um, once you've done that and you're familiar with it go ahead and move on to the next tutorial and thanks for watching